Hey everybody, it's just me LTM. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I have an unboxing for you. I'm a little bit anxious about this unboxing because it's, spoiler, it's shoes and I don't usually buy shoes online because you just never know are they really going to fit or not. Even within shoe shops Sometimes I'm a 37, sometimes I'm a 38. So for me, buying shoes online is a real risk, but I really loved these shoes. So I went ahead and I bought them. Here goes. At least I think it's shoes. It might be something different. Inside the bag, we have another bag. Interestingly, I thought this was coming from China, and certainly the tracking showed that it was coming from China, but the label on this bag says it's come from New South Wales though, so, I don't know, New South Wales is in Australia. One bag. It smells like shoes. Two bags. And some other small bags that fell down. I'll just grab them. Uh, okay, so they're just uh, air, air bags. There's supposed to be two pairs of shoes and one pair of earrings in here. Now it's also risky because, as I said, I think these have come from China and I don't know about you, but I have certainly been caught out before looking at something online that looks absolutely amazing and you order it and to do with the, it, the printed fabric, it's, it just doesn't look like it did in the pictures. It, it really is what was in the picture, but in real life it's just not quite the same. I'm sure you know what I mean. I hope these are as good as the pictures promised. I'm not sure where the earrings are though. Well, there's a little yellow bag in here, so maybe the earrings are in there. All right, here's this one. I might just point the camera at a different angle. And now my head's cut off, but never mind. You can at least see what I'm unpacking. I think I know what those ones are. I might open the other ones first. So they're definitely shoes, and this should be the earrings. Well, the earrings are good. So these are the earrings, they're little bundles of grapes made of amethyst. And I just think that gorgeous. Purple is my color, and I do have pierced ears, so very happy with them. They are as pictured, so there's hope for the shoes yet. And when you see these boots, remember that here in Australia, that we are heading into winter. It's, uh, it's autumn at the moment, first month of autumn, but it's very soon going to be winter here. And that's what these shoes are for. It's quite nice that you get a bag. It can be a good way to store your shoes. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like it could be like a wet towelette or maybe it's a polish or something. I don't know. All right, these are the flat shoes. <gasps> Fingers crossed. Ooh, nice. So I'm, I am pretty happy with them. The colour's a bit tricky just because of the light in this room at the moment. It's, uh, it's getting towards evening and the light in this room is not fabulous. I might just put this against the bag because the bag is white and that will help the camera with the colours. So.
pretty happy with that. The, the purple is perhaps a darker purple than I had expected, but I don't care what shade of purple it is. Purple is purple. <laughs> All right, so. And the other shoe should be exactly the same. Nicely packaged, actually, with these um, forms in them that are going to stop the shoe from getting crushed. So, good packaging. And yes, that is the same as the other one. So, really happy with how those look. We'll find out about the fit in a minute. Which is why I'm doing this on my couch and not where I usually do unboxings. Because I am going to try them on, of course. <laughs> Alright, and here is the other pair. Ooh. They look amazing. So this section here is blue and this section here is purple. I'm not sure what the camera is going to do with the colours but I am pretty darn happy with them. I like that. I like this detailing. It's a little bit like uh, Edwardian kind of shoes. A little bit maybe. The zip for convenience. I really like them. Quite a nice sized heel. Oh, I hadn't noticed that some of the detail goes down onto the heel. I don't remember seeing that in the picture. I like it. Not too tall a heel, so pretty good for me. Again, it's got a form inside of it, so the shoe has kept its shape while it was being sent through the mail. Oh, good packaging. Quite impressed actually. I must say I have bought quite a few things online and over quite a long number of years and there are very few times that I have been scammed, haven't received what I ordered, didn't receive anything at all or anything like that. I think maybe once. Sometimes I am a bit disappointed with what arrives because it's not quite what I was expecting but on the whole, my online shopping experience over quite a lot of number of years is very good. So, boot number two. More of the same. Okay, now the big test. I'm going to try these on. I have both uh, little stocking things to try with and I have socks to try with. I do normally wear socks in my boots. So, I'll try the stockings first. I think if anything, I went slightly oversized with the thought that at least if the shoe was bigger than I really needed, that I could put an insole in there that would take up some room and then perhaps the shoe would fit. I think going for a bigger size is a better idea than going for a smaller size than you need. If it's too small, there's no way you're gonna get your foot in there. But if it's if it's slightly too big, there are some things that you can do that perhaps you can still wear your shoe. So I'm going to grab my socks and my stockings and I'll come back when we're trying these on. And we're back. And yes, of course I have purple socks. What would you expect from me? All right, I am going to try these short ones first. Looking at them closer, the colour looks more burgundy than purple. That's okay, that's okay. So they have got a section of elastic here. So we'll help you get your foot onto them. Oh, and this is Velcro. I didn't realize that was Velcro. And there is more elastic here. So let's see whether this fits. Definitely get my foot in there, as you can see. And that's probably not too bad a fit. Just pop the other one on. And my left foot is bigger than my right foot, so 
which is common. Most people have one foot slightly bigger than the other. Or one slightly smaller than the other if you want to go that way. Now, excuse my legs. And no, this doesn't go with what I'm wearing at all. So I'm just going to go for a quick walk and see what that's like. So far, feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Mm. Well, I think they're okay. I don't think I need to put an insole in there or anything. I think they're they're really good. <laughs> I'm yes, you can tell my very voice. I am quite surprised. I had prepared myself for disappointment, so I am very pleasantly surprised that these fit. And I hope that means that the other ones fit too. So let's give the other ones a whirl. I am going to stick with socks for these. These just, they're beautiful, magnificent. I really like them. If you want to know where I got them from, I'll put all the information down in the description. Hmm. I think these are going to be good too. They have quite a smell to them. It's, it's not leather. Oh, and actually just looking inside the shoe has this really uh, slightly furry in, inner section. That's really nice. Really nice. Fur lined. Not fluffy fluffy so that it's going to take up a lot of room in the shoe, but very nicely lined. All right, let's put this one on. Now they feel pretty good too, they are. I have some problems with this foot. So this foot is feeling a little bit strange in there, but I think that's my foot more than the shoe. They feel slightly large, but, but my toe, my toe is positioned well. So this could, this could be a win despite, despite the odds. I am so pleased. I'm going to go for a quick wander, just to walk around the house for two seconds to see how they fit. Mmm, pretty good. This one, my foot is moving forward in the shoe as I walk. So this one feels slightly big, but this one is absolutely perfect. My foot was not moving around in the shoe when I was walking at all. So I could potentially put a heel protector on the inside of the shoe here um, and that will take up a little bit more room, a bit of the ease and make for a better fit for this foot. It is slightly large, I can push my foot forward in that shoe whereas I can't really do that with this one but I can definitely do that with that, with that shoe. Wow! I am so surprised. So surprised. So there you have it. My astonishingly good fitting shoes purchased online. It's still something that I won't do very much of. I very much prefer to go into a shop and try shoes on, walk around in them so I know whether they're going to fit me or not. Um, this time, it appears it was worth the risk, so <laughs> I'm really happy. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really love it if you would hit the like button. It'll help YouTube give you more recommendations of the kind of content that you really want to see. And if you really want to be nice, you could hit the subscribe button. That's it from me for today. I hope you're having a great one. See you.